It's time now for some real education. Mark Chagall, we continues our last day, born in 1887 and dying not until 1985, 98 years old. Uh, what a great career, what a great life for Mark Chagall. Uh, when you think of uh, color in the 20th century, when you think of innovation, when you think of Jewish artists in the 20th century, I mean, there's almost nobody bigger than Mark Chagall. His reputation uh, and his work is really stunningly popular and important. And yet still, having said all that, uh, compared to some other 20th century figures like P Picasso, of course, and uh, the, the, some of the surrealist Dolly, uh, even somebody like uh, a low-hanging low fruit like Warhol, uh, Chagall, Chagall isn't as well-known to the American people as some of those other artists. So uh, we spend some time today on his genius, and I want to talk to you today about his uh, windows, the windows that he made for the United Nations, these beautiful stained glasses. We've been looking at his paintings, but you look at this, at the, just how he uses color is, again, really stunning. So what happened was, is that in 1963, with following the, de the, the death of Dag Hammarskjöld uh, at the UN, the staff of the United Nations set up a committee and a foundation to provide, quote, a living memorial, unquote, to the late Secretary General. And the, uh, the headquarters of the foundation were established in Stockholm, Sweden where Dagger uh, Hammerskold is from, the committee invited artist Mark Chagall to contribute a piece of his work to the memory of Hammerskold and to, of all those who had lost their lives in the cause of peace. It was dedicated that the mon decided the monument would be a freestanding piece of stained glass, and you're looking at it right now. On his first visit to the, end, uh, to the United Nations in 63, Chagall dedicated the memorial and gave, some, uh, gave a couple of lectures. This panel was unveiled finally by the Secretary General Uthant on 17 September 1964. Initially placed in the southeastern section of the lobby of the Secretariat building facing the East River, the Chagall window was later moved to the eastern side of the public lobby. The memorial, which is about 15 feet wide and 12 feet high, contains several symbols of peace and love, such as the young child in the center being kissed by an angelic face which emerges from a mass of beautiful flowers. On the left and below and above, motherhood and the people who are struggling for peace are depicted. Musical symbols in the panel evoke thoughts of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, which was a favorite of Mr. Hammerskold's. And so you can see uh, floating in the beautiful cobalt ether in this beautiful stained glass, you can see many of the signs and, and symbols of hope and love and peace, which ironically, the United Nations proved completely incapable of providing. All this goodwill and all this love and peace, all this uh, artistic and literary culture that the UN committed to, so much talk, so much empty blather, to the point today where you ought to break up the United, the United, the United States building in Washington, uh, because the only thing of value there left anymore is that window. Thank you, Mark Chagall.